over the last couple of years of answering U.S. Law Show members' questions over the telephone, we've decided to compile a list of some of the top misconceptions our members have regarding the law and firearms. The first one is, if I shoot someone on my porch, do I have to drag the body inside my house? The answer is absolutely not. Keep in mind that your porch that's attached to your house is part of your castle doctrine. So it's an extension of your home. If you shoot someone justifiably and they fall on your front porch, do not touch the body. In fact, if you do, you're tampering with evidence, which is a third degree felony. Now what you cannot do is shoot someone on your porch as they're running out of your house and they're retreating. So keep in mind, if something happens outside the house, do not touch the body. It is a crime. The second misconception I get asked about is, if a dog comes onto my property, can I just shoot him? The answer is no. You cannot shoot a dog that wanders on your property. In fact, causing pain to an animal is also a third degree felony that's punishable up to five years in prison and a $5,000 fine. So just because a dog wanders onto your property doesn't mean you have the right to shoot them. Now, if the dog comes onto your property and attacks you, although Florida has no self-defense law regarding attacking animals, what we do have is the affirmative defense of necessity. So you may be able to shoot an animal that's attacking you if you follow the requirements of the necessity statute. But just because they come onto your property looking for scraps or going in your trash can doesn't mean you can shoot them. Probably one of the biggest misconceptions we get is, hey, if there's a person trespassing on my property, can I fire a warning shot to get them off? Once again, the answer is no. Florida Statute 776.031 allows a person to use non-deadly force to expel a trespasser. Firing a warning shot is not non-deadly force. In fact, it is considered deadly force. So you can't do it. If you do shoot a warning shot at a trespasser, you could face charges of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. And because a firearm was discharged in the process of the crime, you could be facing 20 years minimum mandatory prison under Florida's 1020 life law. The fourth misconception I get asked about is, if I have a, a handgun on me, but it's unloaded, can I still be charged with a felony? And the answer to that is yes. Florida case law has stated a unloaded firearm is considered a deadly weapon. So if you get in an altercation with someone and you are not justified in brandishing the firearm or using it and you pull it out, even though it's unloaded, you could face criminal charges, including felony charges of aggravated assault because you have committed assault on someone using a deadly weapon, i.e. the unloaded firearm. The last misconception I get asked about is, what if I have a physical disability and as someone who is younger and in better shape is coming at me? Can I automatically use deadly force because I'm not going to be able to fight them one on one? The answer is no, it's not automatic. The jury instructions for justifiable use of deadly force tell the juries that hey, in deciding whether someone was justified in using deadly force or even using non-deadly force, you can take into consideration the person's physical disabilities and the attacker's physical capabilities. If someone is bigger, stronger than you, or you have a physical disability, yes, you may ultimately be able to use deadly force, but it's not an automatic. If someone's just approaching you in an aggressive manner, they may not be intending on doing serious bodily injury or causing death to you. So be very careful. You can't just automatically use deadly force. 